Bonjour, y'all. I'm Ryan Weaver. Uh, you might know me from, well, things like this uh, lightsaber fights. We got uh, Ryan versus Dorkman, Ryan versus Dorkman 2, Ryan versus Brandon, Ryan versus Brandon 2, uh, Ryan versus Nate, coming uh, 2036. Um, some of which have been entries into the lightsaber choreography competition, a basically annual event uh, happening online, which you probably know about because you're watching this on their channel. Um, so I don't think I need to preach to the choir here very much, but um, I do just want to point out that here we are, it's 2020, it's party time, and uh, we are in December, and uh, the live judging is coming up um, on Saturday, which is the 5th, December 5th. So definitely check that out. I am not a judge this year. Um, I'm usually kind of been an every other year sort of thing, which is fine. I like the break, and I'm going to do something a little different this year um, as far as that goes. Uh, I don't suppose you need to keep watching this, um, but let me just go on to say um, what I thought I was going to do, what I thought I'd do this year is something slightly different. And um, <clears throat> so the, the way it works is, of course, that we've got uh, a lot of entries coming in to this thing every year, you know, at least a couple of dozen, um, sometimes more. And um, it needs to get uh, sort of uh, pared down to a top 10. That's then what the judges will go over uh, when they do the live judging, evaluate them, critique them, and then, um, you know, rank choice voting and get you some winners um, in each of these various categories. And of course, the, the grand prize winner uh, who gets the uh, award and the cash prize with, what's, no, neither? Okay, uh, they get uh, bragging rights and geek cred um, for winning the contest, um, which uh, I have been uh, fortunate enough to have done a couple of times. And I feel a special connection to the contest because, guys, it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the 18th uh, Saber Comp, as it's being called now. And um, so get ready for 2022, 20 years of, of doing this contest. Which is crazy to me because I have a, a sort of special connection, which is, you know, Ryan versus Dorkman. The, the, the very first one w was made for the inaugural first year of the lightsaber choreography comp competition. And that really set off my whole sort of career path and uh, venture into uh, total nerddom. And um, so I kind of owe a lot to the contest, but, uh, you know, more than that, it's also just a great place for a lot of... Uh, a congregation of folks who are into these uh, saber fight scenes um they motivate a lot of uh, young folks to make them because saber fights are a great way to break into you know sort of um small scale filmmaking and visual effects it's great for both of those things uh and so uh anyway it's awesome for that i kind of like to support it and so what i thought i'd do this year is um give an opportunity to the bottom two-thirds, uh, which is to say uh, I'm going to do something I've never done before, which is uh, you're about to see my very first and possibly last reaction video. And guess what? It's going to be two hours long because it's going to be every single entry, which I have not watched yet. You're, I'll be watching them for the first time here with you and just taking the opportunity. I, I thought to myself, I'm going to sit here and I want to watch all these entries It'll take about the same amount of time, plus setup of a camera and a couple lights here, um, to actually just sort of commentate out loud at them as, as I see them, and uh, hopefully give um, those folks who... This is really being made for the folks who created these entries, um, because the feedback that you can get is one of the most valuable things. And uh, I'm not talking about just YouTube comments. I mean an actual sort of a little bit more educated sort of critique on various levels. And, um, you know, unless you're one of the 10 best of the year, you don't get that from the judges. And that, that's not a that's not a problem. It would be way too long. This is going to be two hours long. Over, more than that, because guess what, guys? Uh, I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm probably going to pause stuff and back up and look at things and, 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 and watch it the way I'd, I'd like to watch it. Um, but uh, uh, I want to be able to give every, every person, every accepted entry into the thing uh, uh, a, a shot at uh, just getting getting my eyes on it and sort of giving my thoughts on it as we go. You know what a reaction video is. I don't need to tell you. In fact, I don't think I need to say much else. I think we should probably just get into it. And um, so we're just going to roll on through and keep this casual and hopefully down here 
somewhere, you've got chapter markers for each of the entries. So if you've done one of those entries, you can jump right to it and uh, and get into it. Um, okay, last thing before we before we uh, kick off this party here, I just want to say uh, I'm looking forward to the judging, and you should be too. Um, it's going to be cool. Uh, you've got um, Antoine Bandelet holding it down as always. He's not a judge, but he's going to be sort of hosting and facilitating the event. Um, uh, this year we've got uh, Chris, aka Spensley, aka Vapor Trail, uh, and uh, Max Jordan, who is awesome. And uh, oh, and a, 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 a surprisingly, it took this long to uh, get a girl into the boys' club. But uh, Lizzie, Lizzie Poling, is going to be a judge this year, uh, who is fantastic. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be awesome. So anyway, tune in for that to see the top ten. Who made the top ten? who takes home the categories and who wins this thing. Um, sure to be great. But uh, if you're like real bored, hang out with me and let's kick this party off. So, all right, let's get it on. You guys excited? I'm excited. I haven't seen any of these. So, you know. uh, here we go. Okay, ready for a fade? All right. Oops. Let me keep my face out of there. I will do my best, guys. But this this is live. I'm not going to do it again. We're just whoosh, warts and all. This is this is just what's happening here. Okay. All right, guys. Ready. Three, two, one. Unpause. This is called Anakin and Obi Wan Saber Fighting Unleashed. We've got a few participants here. Oh, look at that beard. Shouldn't present much of a problem. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Let me scoot over here for you. Oh, are these the voices from the show? What, like the uh, clone? I wonder if they took sound bites out of that, because it sounds just like them. He's got that episode three um, fighting the droids when he... Anakin grabs Jesus. This guy's really got his Anakin thing down here. Cool, cool. Interesting location. This feels like one of those um in Los Angeles they have like uh like a like a where warehouse that's like every room is a different set and but this is like a stage, it's got curtains and stuff, but like it's interesting. I mean you get some space to do your whole thing. Very flourishy, a lot, very smooth and kind of fluid. It's a, it's a very, um, aha, uh -huh, there's our, our choreography, uh, um, from episode three that you need to include. One of, one of the other, you could, there's several things you can include, I think, a piece of dialogue or a piece of choreography or something, but it's very fluid is what I was going to say. It was like, it's very, it's sort of like a performance art style of, um, uh, so you don't, so you're not really smashing all your blades and breaking them all the time. It's like you'll 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 get a lot farther with this stuff. But, but these guys are good. It's very competent stuff. The effects look nice. The sabers look good. Oh 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 oh! I like that behind the back. Behind the back. It's fast. A catwalk. All right. Okay, we're cutting back and forth here. Oh, 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 fast, fast, whoa! Ah, yeah. yeah, man, damn quick. That's like what we were doing in um, Ryan vs. Brandon 2. I was just trying to make like this very simple vocabulary of choreography, but like can be executed very, very quickly. They are faster than us, I think, but. Feel it. Okay, so we're cutting back and forth, and we're clearly kind of jumping continuity a bit. Um, I was a little disoriented by, like, we were in the catwalk there, and then now we're in a totally different place. But but thus far, these guys are in the same place, and so I expected a little bit more of how we get from, from place to place. Because it's not like in uh, Episode 3 where we're cutting to a whole different plot line that takes, like, minutes. Oh, and now we're in it. Like, like I, I kind of wish I saw how we got into this lock that they're in right now. I mean, that's it's fine. You know, I, this is that's hardly a slight against it. It's just sort of would help 
carry you through it, even emotionally, a little bit. Whoa, like a little snap zoom there. Oh, we're hand to hand now. See, it's, did I miss where we lose the sabers? Hold on. Well, that looks good. Hold on, we're gonna watch all that again. Don't worry. So we had, we we're up there. Okay. Sorry, guys. This is probably very annoying. I, I, I'll try not to do this too much. So anyway, we don't have sabers now. Okay, great. I think we saw one of them get lost. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, that was cool. That was good. Very strong, broad movements. Like very clear. You know, it reads. It reads well. It looks strong. I uh, I like that. Give a thumbs up. <laughs> Going up the elevator. Uh huh. I like to. I like. Again, we've elapsed time of getting into the elevator, but like, was it like the doors are open and they're fighting and then just fought in there and then somebody like elbowed the button? Like that could have been funny. I think that would have been. You know. I mean, obviously they're going for a certain tone and everything, but. I've one thing I've learned over the years is uh, if you have an opportunity to make a joke, pe people people like the gags. Go ahead and take it. Now we're back together. Not a lot of room here. Little sound effect there. Little. Uh... Okay, this is tough. The three-way stuff is always the hardest. And that was it. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> Those voices are awesome. I feel like I'm again. I, I. Yeah, and he stabs him. Okay, it felt weird not seeing it happen. Like it happened off screen, you know. I'm getting too old for this. Like I think it could have used a reaction of him getting stabbed, you know. Take it. Can I take this one? <laughs> This is, they're pretty good. That's a pretty good Anakin, man. Okay, all right. I wonder if those guys are um, just like that viral video of uh, like stage fighting. I wonder if uh, it was the same team uh, doing that. First one down. That was pretty sweet. You know, Antoine, I think, likes to order these things to have like a pretty solid one right up at the top to keep, hook you, get you in there, you know. But that was nice. That was good. I... um. I, I I would have liked to see a little bit more uh, I mean most of the again the vocabulary of the fight choreography was like pretty straightforward and and, and I, I don't want to say basic because it was it was it was executed well enough to not look basic um, but uh, I would have appreciated a little bit more creativity in um, in some of that uh, okay here we go let's see foresight foresight sorry kyberphonic it's better than polyphonic it's uh, made with kyber crystals praxis visuals from the exploded klingon moon apparently Looks like a force vision. It's taking place on Earth with a very close Mars. I'm not sure why we went out to that establishing shot of the planet. Are we indicating that this guy came from there? From from space? Whoa! I, have my I like his armor shirt. That actually, like, almost, almost, uh, almost holds up in the light, in the dark light. Yeah, look at these guys go. Yes, yes, nice kick in the jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, a little butterfly twists going on over here. This is good. I like that. There's like, you really, yeah, man. You really feel the um the intention 
uh, behind these things. These are big, strong strikes, and and when you miss, you feel it, and when you hit, you feel it. Like there's a lot of. Uh, Uh oh. Not totally sure of exactly for what occasion we're using slow mo here. Sometimes it just kind of goes slow mo, but it's not necessarily to show us something that we couldn't have appreciated otherwise, which to me is always the rule for slow mo. And look at how much light these things are giving off. These are great props. We live in a great age <laughs> with these light up saber props that you can actually fight pretty well with these days. Even when I did Saber Shop, you know, I uh, threw my chips in on carbon fiber, but uh, these props are awesome. Uh oh. Superman stab. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fast, fast, fast. Oh, yeah! Look at that dodge. That was sweet. Mm-hmm. It's tight. They're real close in, which is nice. You know, a lot of a big amateur move is uh, you start your fights and you're very sort of afraid of each other, so you keep a big distance and you're swinging in a way that if the other person blocked, it wouldn't even hit them anyway. But, like, physically just getting closer is a fast way to... <laughs> That's a voice. Yep. You feel the power. Oh. It's like the Star Killer burst. Which I only know from the uh, animatical promotional cutscene things. And there's an earthquake. The planet's going down, guys. He's got the holocron. Or is it a wayfinder? Mmm, it's nice. You only have to do the prosthetics for like one shot here at the end. Presuming we're about to be done. The earthquake is still happening. And there you have it. Nice stuff, guys. A lot of energy. I really like that... Uh Yes, right here. This one was a great one from uh, last year. Yep, I s I could feel that. I could feel I could feel that. Another solid entry, guys. Way to go! Real good. Almost there. But uh, yeah, I feel like the the first one, the Anakin Obi Wan, could use just a little bit more of that. You know, some of that power. Not that they didn't have power, but it's all very fluid and redirected, which is a different style. And uh, I do like to, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? All right. Dude, how do I get these out of here? Yikes. Sorry about that, guys. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. They're out in the sand dunes, man. <laughs> I feel like this would be trailer music for something stupid. I saw the aspect ratio change. Someone's been watching their uh, Mandalorian season two episode two or one, the one with the giant sandworm dragon. Saber glows look very big and nice. Pretty cool. God, sand sucks to fight on, man. It's just the worst. Like on a beach, it's just real tough. I didn't see why that was a particular standoff moment. I feel like they were both, you know, they both wouldn't have hit each other, so maybe that's the, the beat. Mm 
Mm. Yeah, cool. I like that disarm. Oh, focus. How is it... How is it always almost dark? That's like very... I mean, it takes a while to shoot these things. Like, it's like shooting for magic hour. It's like you only... You have a limited amount of time. In the end. It makes sense now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh-oh. I got a little more. It's not burning the ground! Artistic fencing school. I like that. Oh shit. Did I hit back? I did. Right? Yes. Okay, next. And hold. Okay, that was cool. It felt like um it kind of felt like a rehearsal i gotta say it was sort of like it, it was not bad but it just lacked some of that refined kind of you've done it a lot and you can really put more of your energy into um you know selling selling the swings selling the hits selling the just uh you know various performance aspects of it um but the um you know the speed and the energy were not quite uh top level nice location sabers look cool but um that one didn't uh uh, didn't knock my socks off per se but solid listen guys I gotta be real I gotta tell you I'm trying to like you know it's um it's critique you know we're back on the other side of the desert where it's a little more light okay go just go I'm not leaving you here you'll kill us both just go you know who you are. You know what you can do. Just go. I don't want to be. Please don't leave me. Oh, but I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Open up with some real uh, performance there. This is. Did you really think I'd let you get away that easily? Honestly, I'm surprised it wasn't easier. After everything that I've done, you still underestimate me. This looks nice. Shot well. Get the costumes going. Boy, those long robes. Yeah, you gotta get out of those robes quick, because out there in all that wind, that looked <laughs> difficult. She's not a human. She's got lines drawn on her and the contacts in. Are there humans in Star Wars? In Star Wars, do they ever actually say human? Because they're not, really. I hear the force, or it could be wind. Yep. You. You. You slaughtered my friend. How could you do that? How could you do that? Answer me! Say something! Well, she's clearly a bad guy. Slotting friends is probably par for the course there. Hmm? 
Well, that was weird. I didn't see like the block on the other side of the body for that. I thought she like got her, but oh, it's like a little samurai uh, slice. Oh, got her a little bit. She's okay. She's good. Still in the game. Man, doing wounds is a pain in the ass. Like, I'm lazy, you know? But, um... Just having to then do it from then on and be consistent about continuity. Especially if you shoot out of order. It's uh, real annoying. Not too shabby. Ooh, connecting the E and the L. And the R and the E looks weird. <laughs> Uh-oh, she's got a knife. It's less windy now. That could have been not shot in the desert, however. It could have been, it's just white sky. It could be uh, another situation. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, good stuff. It's surprising how much um, the uh, the drama of it does make you, it, it invests you, you know? Like, this one has, like, more than any of the previous entries in terms of uh, getting a little acting in there and getting a little bit of uh, more of just the sense of story that's uh, that's happening and that helps engage you I would I would definitely say um, the choreography just kind of just washed over me on that one um, it worked it was it was functional but um, God sand is tough it's 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 coarse and irritating gets everywhere um, but it's hard to run and move in um, which uh, slows you down makes it makes it difficult um, Oh, God, and out in the sun. I just feel for <laughs> everybody shooting these things. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not just sure how much uh, I have to uh, to elaborate on there. But, um, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, we got a lot more. All right, Vendetta, here we go. Hopefully my simple reaction is, is something, <laughs> even if I don't offer a lot of elaborate criticism on... Uh, Every single one. Some colorful armor. A gun? I feel like the uh, the saber effect is turning on just a little late from the uh, when they push the button. I feel like the I, th I feel like if you're fighting a guy with armor, you probably are not gonna wanna uh, work so much on the punches and the kicks, which are are going to be rendered much more useless than usual in a in a fight. I mean, you get that saber through him, unless it's unless it's Beskar. Um, the saber's the way to go. Mm. I guess it deflects. Look like it, or unless it was the force. Bear hug. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm. 
I don't know what happened. There was something shot, like a gun fired blasters out of his out of his uh, gauntlet there, I guess. I would use that more, I guess. I think that was the dial. Oh, that was the other piece of Jedi's weapon deserves more. Yep. Yep. I have the saber on top of the arm there. So, so I think about things like if you've got force lightning, for example. Uh, when and how do you use it, right? Because you could use it at any time. Like, when do you intersperse it into the choreography if that's what you're going to do? Or when do you become desperate enough to need to use that instead? Oh, that was a beheading. I thought his helmet came off and we were going to get a reveal. Oh, okay. I was right. Or was I? Because this is him. Yeah, here we go. All the urgency suddenly stopped, and so I thought... Uh, I feel like we need a reaction of this dude's face. Like, he's got to be pissed. Unless we're not going to see his face. Okay, we're not. Okay, okay. Cool. Only IG-11 can see uh, your face because he's not a person. So for other stuff they're introducing here, like the gauntlet gun, I think... Um, this is the way. There you go. And then Torch to Life at the end. Uh, same thing. So a similar thing. It's kind of like when, you know, why wouldn't he have used the flamethrower before, for example, or Force Lightning before that was used, for example. It's kind of all just like erratically happening. And I think it could benefit from, like, it'll feel like more of an arc to the plot of the fight. Every every fight is a, is a has a plot. Um to sort of create ways that bring you to them like okay if they're gonna have a saber fight we start with the sabers presumably because we're, we're trying to have a saber choreography competition and um and then for example you get disarmed and then try pulling out one of these other tricks but for some reason you have to start put yourself in the character's head of like they want to use a saber first that's preferred for some reason maybe it's it's it takes effort and energy to throw the lightning Maybe it's just um, there's a surprise factor there. You don't want to pull that out unless you need it as a Hail Mary um, or some of these other things. So it's kind of like when just they're pulled out of nowhere, it's kind of like, oh, oh, okay, I guess we have that. I guess we can, you know. And so so think about that uh, next time. And then also in, in a lot of that one, I felt like there was – it was I, – I was gathering – as it was going that our Mandalorian here, our McDonald's Mandalorian, was is like superior or advantaged enough with his armor or, or whatever um, that the other guy got pretty desperate for a bit there and lost his saber and everything. And But I wasn't really feeling it for some reason. And I think part of that could just be... Um, shot angle choices and performance like we, you got you got to make sure that moments are taken to appreciate the the of how everyone's doing at this particular moment am i beating you and i'm getting or the other guy's getting defeated and just more of the sort of the interplay of the um of of the drama of the push and pull of the uh, of the whole situation because this is very much they get together and then some stuff happens and then they get together and some stuff happens and uh you know that's that's where we all begin and then you kind of learn over time how to sort of milk those moments and um and that sort of thing okay all right let's uh advance remains who will remain that is the question artistic fencing again A Star Wars fan film. All right. Interesting. 
Interesting. Metaphorical or literal? I think metaphorical. Undead virus, I see. Careful, you don't want to catch that virus, dude. We're carterizing. Yeah, man. Have we seen someone use the lightsaber to cauterize in the official Star Wars canon? Like, uh, I don't think so. I keep looking over here, guys. I have another screen, and I can see the video in there as well, but I can also see myself, and if I'm actually in frame or getting blocked behind the thing, so don't worry, I'm still watching. I know the audio is probably quiet for you guys anyway. I have it low, so make sure I don't get overpowered so you can hear my pearls of wisdom. But um, I'm just modulating for myself here, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Cool. Good force. That's kind of some of the stuff that I think some of the other entries can can use. Not specifically this year, just generally is is uh, <laughs> um, the like taking a moment to have a powerful hit and the other person has to reel back from, you know, and winding up into stuff. And here, so here's what we were talking about with this sort of who's winning and who's losing. Like you're you're getting a definite sense of. Uh, um, Who's beating who, you know? Not that everything has to be one-sided at any given time, but, uh, you know. She doesn't want to do it. You're... It's tough times, post-virus. Nice. Very good. Very good. Is this the next one? Uh-oh. And I can only want Saber Fighting Unleashed. We saw this. Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Got it. Right. Remain. Okay, okay. So, this one guy just got moved from the first, I guess. Alright. I don't know why that happened. I'm sorry, everybody. Okay, here we go. Carrying on. I wonder if he changed the playlist while I'm sitting here watching it doing this. He doesn't know when I'm doing this, Antoine. But uh, I told him I might, so. Now you had to see all my browser tabs and, and everything. Jesus. All right. Mm. 
Mm -mm. Holocron. That is quite a beard. I'm not sure that that would block a stab the way that- I mean, you would you'd deflect it, but that's not quite how it played. The little pulling him to the ground thing by the shoulder didn't, didn't quite sell for me either. Oh. Got him. I think they could have been a little farther apart for that moment. Fine to have the moment, but he was close enough that he should have been attacking him, I think, in that moment. I don't think you could stand up with a lightsaber. I think it would just stab into the ground, you know? Burn a hole in the ground. I think some other angles could, I mean, you know, there are some performance things here that could be improved, but uh, also some of this stuff really could sell better from, from the right angles. Um, getting in a little closer, getting a little over the shoulders on those where he was coming at him uh, could have helped that out a little bit, I think. I mean, nothing deflates your work like just being a wide kind of just gently following it sort of uh, angle. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's a little kind of right out in front of you. You know, just not... It's very... All, it's all happening with his hands just right in front of his chest there. Uh... I feel like the blades look short on the uh, the double saber there, and possibly the handle, which would help. You know, get your hands wider. You know, nope. kind of rolled on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Holding it down. Okay. And to the victor go the spoils. Maybe that was the other thing, a prop. Like a holocron prop. That's not the first time we've seen one. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm like dis rediscovering the rules. Anyway. Um, I kind of felt like that. Um, yeah, just could have uh, maybe uh, yeah get get a little uh, little more time in there, just drilling it down and really get into it, and then get up to the point where you can start trying to sell those moves uh, a little more. On the right track, on the way, on the way. It's a Galaxy's Edge on his shirt. It's a Galaxy's Edge sweater. Okay. There's definitely not. <laughs> there's, he's just definitely not enough liquid to have drank, but there's a, just enough to drip out when he turns it upside down. <clears throat> this kind of reminds me of uh, 
Killian Murphy a little bit? Carl Kestis. Oh, yes. I know your name. They got Qu Gwendolyn Christie in there to voice this thing. Perhaps you've had some training after all. <laughs> Who's your master? Padawan? All these coffee cups sitting around. Someone I killed, perhaps. What Jedi gave their life mm -hmm. so that you might live? About Cordova. Tell me. Where did he hide the holocron? Holocron. How predictable. Outstanding. <clears throat> Your VR is to a whole new level here. Mm hmm. Okay, wow, lots of spinning. I feel like that should have been more of a, like, knocked him down or something, and then you say it was too easy, because it was just an exchange of moves. It didn't really... Well. So for all the, all the wind-up into that, like, it didn't really matter much to... She just blocked it just vertically, sort of normally. Like, it didn't... You know, you like to see sort of the payoff of the investment in the, in the, uh, the wind-up to that stuff. Well, they're definitely going a little... They're getting more... There's more going on than the than the basic ABCD vocabulary of the saber fight, which is nice. I feel like they're almost sort of inhibited by the length of the blades or something. Like it feels like it's just taking a lot of effort to. I mean, being in close quarters like that too is probably part of it. You know, like it's. Uh, you feel just a little afraid to swing completely freely. You know. Do not test my patience. Well, there you go. It's one way out. Yeah, not bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Opening credits. I usually don't like the camera work that's kind of getting in and has to follow it and find it, but that worked a little better than, than most. I think that it's sort of, you, you didn't feel like you missed anything. You're still getting what you need out of it, you know? <gasps> a novice, I think. No, not quite. No, because he's light up, obviously. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. Not too bad, you know, the only thing harder than, uh, you know, a two-on-one is two-on-one where somebody's got a double saber, so you've got that many more blades you have to keep busy. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, cool, yeah. See, now they're like, you know, using the force lightning and I, oh, there goes your face, bro. Ouch. Uh, using the force lightning. Um, see, because it's like, okay, we were fighting two, two people for the first 
not at that moment was the first moment in the fight, but like for the first section of the fight that you're fighting too. So it's a little more overwhelming. You're a little more having to dig into your back pocket for some tricks, like pulling the lightning out on the guy. Now you're just two, uh, one on one. And you could use it at any time you like. Because it's already been revealed, you know. You. Yeah, not bad. It works, but only for a second. It has an automatic shutoff that he can't override. Interesting. Rather than just having sparks come out of it or something, you know. I think we'll use we'll see it used again for the brief the brief moment that it will work to stab. Like it's an interesting rule for how it works to establish, you know. Oh, okay. Now we're back on. But it, yeah, okay. It's it's unpredictable. Interesting. I like that dynamic. That's yeah, yeah. Still, that'll yeah, I'll still get him. That's still bad news. He doesn't seem wounded by it though. Oh, there you go. That was cool. That was cool. Oh. Yeah, uh oh. Yeah, watch out for those force flying sabers. Oh, and he's still gonna walk away from this one. Okay. He got full on impaled though. That's as bad as what the other guy got. Ah. Didn't quite make it. Oh, I like the falling over with him. I can't remember where I've seen seen that. Cool guys, I think that was uh, the most creative idea I've seen so far, which is the uh, the malfunctioning saber that is has unpredictable length, and uh, they you got those moments in there where it's like you know I went for him, didn't quite, wasn't able to get him. Um, it's cool, it's good, I like that. Good work, everyone. And the rest of it was was pretty good. Performances were were solid. They were nice and fast. And it wasn't super super basic stuff. Like they they got a little more a little more interesting. So I would have that in my top ten if I was uh, if I was doing it probably. The judging, I mean. What was the name of this one? Vengeance. The sound effect was like <laughs> didn't sound like grass. Hmm. Yeah. Using the saber to throw debris and sparks up into people's faces. That's a uh, a good one I have used myself. So the force lightning on the guy on the ground, I think, was to like keep him down, like knock him out. Even though we didn't have a moment of him like, uh, you know, kind of resigning for the moment. And obviously he's back now. But it 
Time for Saber 2. Saber number 2. Yeah. Whoa, look at that. Those force push. Force push gags are tough to pull off. Keep it fast like that. That works. <laughs> quick sh quick shots. Wide wide shot. Blurry POV. That's interesting. Yeah, throwing sabers. I would like to do a thing where you like really force. You're just remote controlling it like a little helicopter, you know, flying it around at people. Someone has to fight it remotely. That'd be interesting. All right. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, sure. You could have sliced his face off, but that's cool. We're, we're toying with him. I can appreciate that. Ryan toys with people. That's his fault. We just love cutting grass with sabers here today. A lot of knees. A lot of knees in the in the in the torso. Mm-hmm. 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 This is better than what we were seeing like 30 seconds ago. Um, with the uh, it's just a little slow. I just didn't have the confidence that I know they could get with a little more a little more work at it, a little more time maybe. This is good. Mmm. Yep. Yeah, that's canon. Now, everybody. Force healing, sure. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Could have been a little little rough around the edges. Could have been polished up, but like definitely getting there. You guys are... Come back again next year and hit it again. And uh, you're uh, on the way, is what I would say to that. Okay, we're on to draw. Textural. Saber swinging against trees. It's like orchestral trailer version of Duel of the Fates. If you're gonna do Duel of the Fates, at least you can have a, a variant, you know? See so guys, now this is an example of using those angles right because like the choreography here is like pretty straightforward stuff, but the energy is there. You feel like they're really trying to smack each other in the face, and it was just close enough and just at the right angle that it's uh, you know, you're feeling it. Now that doesn't win points for me for like I'm looking for creativity, you know, like really, as I just want to see something I haven't seen before, and this is more like. Okay, cool. You haven't lost me yet. <laughs> we're, we're competent. It's working. Yeah, okay. Force suspension. Go ahead and get him. Hmm. I'm not sure what broke his hold there. The running at each other and striking and going past is like, it kind of works. No.
Beltadano. Moody. I've never known a Moody. Sorry, I'm just... I have nothing but names to, uh, to look at here. Thanks, Karen. Um, pretty good. Not not to, not to, not too shabby, y'all. I think you're ready. You're at the you're at the level where you're ready to step it up into some into um, some choreography of, of higher complexity, and uh, you've got some energy and you got some speed. So, Padawan Hunt. Okay, seventeen years before the Battle of Yavin. So, okay. Sorry, guys. I have to, like, do math. Like, it's like that gif of her with the math in front when it's, like, what year in the Star Wars uh, galaxy it is. Okay, Clone Wars have ended. All remnants of the Old Republic have been swept away in the wake of the new... Oh, my God. My God. Too slow. I'll read it myself, and you, as you can read it yourself. Inquisitorious. Okay. Copy that. Do they shoot these uh, drone shots? Or is this from stock footage? I bet they shot it. That's cool. The first one, I mean, this stuff here actually looks almost uh, alien, just uh, rocky. I kind of like starting a fight in progress, like coming in on a fight that's been going on, you know? Yeah, look at that cape blowing in the wind, nice. Chromatic aberration uh, force blast there. Everybody getting their anamorphic uh, flares on for the uh, those hits. I don't know why we're going back out to the wide shot. And I'm not sure what that's about yet. I appreciate the variety of angles. However, I don't feel like we're getting more out of each one. Like, I don't feel like we're... Um, usually the going way out wide is to sort of take a breather moment and appreciate the fight in the context of the landscape, but several of them back to back doesn't really give you a whole lot. So then you're just sort of back to analyzing the, the fight, and, uh, but it's smaller. You got some speed. These guys got some, uh, some energy. Nope. Close, but no cigarello. Back out to a, a drone shot. Like, I I understand the compulsion to like he shot all this footage and you're like you gotta get get these shots in there, but. The cape's coming off, guys. That's the new throwing down the glove, I think. He looked like he was like, okay, you can come now. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice little behind the back block there. I like that. Not many people have done that um, bit of choreography from episode three. I only feel like I saw that the one time in the Anakin Obi-Wan at the beginning, appropriately. It's hard, I know. That's why. It's like, that's what we're talking about with the complex uh, moves. I feel, I don't feel so much that the Padawan is inferior to the Sith dude here. Or maybe he's not explicitly Sith. I already forgot the, uh, 
the non-crawling crawl, but uh, they seem like they're actually sort of matched. Which is okay, you know. Okay, nice. Yeah, uh-huh. These big, broad, sweeping moves, are uh, they carry a lot of power sort of automatically. Like, you get you get a lot of energy for free, you know, when you really are committing to those. Oh, we got his. We got his. I don't think he made it. I don't think he did it. I think he got stabbed. I feel like they both would have been. I think... I think... Sith guy got scissor chopped his his head off, but uh, other dude got stabbed right in the solar plexus. Uh, cool. I don't know about those wide shots, guys. I know they're cool, but um, they they mm, they kind of break the continuity of energy that you have going. Um, but otherwise, uh, on the way, pretty cool. Do I just say pretty cool to like most of them? Just like, pretty cool, pretty cool. Hades Shadow. Oh, Chaotic Jedi. Can you be a Jedi in Chaotic? Like, will they allow you on the Council? Will you be granted the rank of Master if you're Chaotic? I think not. Dude, I just love that we have saber props that, like, if you don't even put effects on them, you can still see clearly what's happening in the dark. Like, that's rad. You know, and out of focus, and without other lighting. This um, this whole kind of slow mo y well, it's not necessarily slow mo, but like the frame rate thing is like it works for like a flashback or something. But uh, okay, and now. A little hard to see what's going on there, guys. I mean, I got it. I mean, he got the saber away. And now we're fist fighting. Just got to get a couple lights out there. Just just so we can see what's happening, you know. If you're going to do it in the, in the dark, you know. I've lost it. I, I don't know what we're seeing. Getting the saber back here. We're also getting the saber back here. We're back to sabers. Cool. Yeah, I would say, I mean, this is, uh, you know, you're actually, I, I could see this choreography being executed. It's just sort of uneven, you know. But it's but in generally it feels a little more like it's 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 uh, a rehearsal, you know. We're kind of still working on getting it right, you know. And uh, I think you just got to refine it and get it there. Uh, th you know, these sabers would look so good in the dark, the the way that they are. You know, if you just have if we had the speed and we didn't have this sort of effect on it, like I think it would have worked fine. And you celebrate with pizza after you uh, kill him in the dark. I didn't hear the dialogue or see a holocron or see that choreography. Maybe there's a fourth thing. Okay, so obviously technical stuff, you know. I mean, you just got to make sure everything's clear that we can see it. But, like, I didn't really care for the effect. And, uh, you know, I think the, the choreography is on the way. You're getting there. Um, but just drill that, nail it, and then let's see it just, you know, straight and clear without, uh, a lot of distraction. And even in the dark with those glowing props would, uh, definitely, uh, would definitely work. No offense, guys, but I am going to skip to the next. We gotta be halfway through. Padawan lost. Okay. You guys having fun? Doing alright? Cross Saber Studios. Uh. A Jedi's weapon deserves more respect. Remember. 
labor. One does not learn the art of Jedi defense overnight, but one does patience and dedication. I feel like no one's used the dialogue in a way that is, uh... Remember, everything is connected through the Force. Listen, my Padawan, you need to run. Go find help. But I haven't used it in a way that's motivated, Jedi. sort of, reasonably. Confronting fear is the destiny of the Jedi. Master... What was with the table and the stuff set up to like? I'm positive this place was still in operation. Oh, okay. But it seems so deserted. I'm imagining a set. Is she wounded or merely tired? Should have locked the door. He knows. I know you are in here, child. I'm a Padawan, not a child. Found you. GPS on the phone. She had to find my iPhone on. Yes. Apprentice of Padawans. <laughs> God, man, fighting like two feet from a wall without cutting it is tough. Like, well, we could have used a close-up on the on these to see what's really happening here. Pathetic. What was it? A Jedi's weapon deserves more respect. Wouldn't you agree? I guess not. But how is it being disrespected? Is he saying it's being disrespected by being used by someone unskilled? I'm, not, I'm just I'm reading too far between the lines here. Your training. Just need the right teacher. No, I'd rather die. I don't feel like he would be so impressed as to want to train her, based on what I've seen. Well, take that windpipe. Inquisitor has slain the master. Have you taken care of the Padawan? Yes, my master. Good. Proceed with phase two. It will be done, my lord. Phase two. Padawan lost. Um, not a whole lot of choreography there to speak of, I must say. But also, it's like, I mean, it's tough. Um, yeah, I mean, get out there where you can really swing some sabers around and, and do what you do what you got to do. Okay, run. 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 And true to form, we are running. Ah, Arabesh. What does the Arabesh say? I feel like once upon a time I could I could just about read. No, I got nothing. Okay. Wouldn't that be impressive if I could read that sign? Okay. So you got a saber though, right? You can uh, block these things, deflect them. Rather than just having your back to him the whole time, right? I guess she's a little farther, uh, farther away.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, use that force. <laughs> that knock him out. <laughs> yeah, sure. Make your make your escape. Well, he's not throwing uh, lasers at you. So she's simply trying to get away from him, or is she trying to go to somewhere? Or both? I feel like I can almost read that text, you guys. Almost do it. You're unarmed. That's better. That's better angle. Dude, they're sneaking Arabesh everywhere in the background of this thing. Ah, okay, so his stuff blocks it. That's good. We're doing like flashing lighting for the contact hits, that's what we're trying to do? Okay. I was like, there's a... F something is, is flashing on them. I didn't quite connect it to the hits. It's, it's hard! The whole reason is because you have to like get the timing perfect. It's really difficult. That's why no one does it. <laughs> I thought it was on top of the bricks. Oh. Are you ready for one more? Always can do one more. Run. That says run. I could read that one. That says run as well. I can read that one. Uh, yeah, good times. Good times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I appreciate a little variety. Some some of the stuff some of the stuff could have used some different uh, some angles to sell certain things at the beginning of that fight inside the area there. Now this wasn't him who was chasing her, was it? Or we never saw. No no no, we saw we saw a dude. Right. Okay. Well. Good stuff. I was about to criticize it for um uh, a lack of lethality in intention at the end there and then it was like oh okay there got it copy that okay no escape here we go i think we're about two-thirds of the way through the, the run here after this since that thing shuffled i'm gonna actually just glance over that list again and make sure i got everything in case it restructured again Why give up the gun? Just, okay. It looked like it was hard to do. <laughs> it looked like a real, uh, a grab and, grab and throw. 
And I like the dynamic of one without a saber and holding him off when he could be using it as a sort of superiority move. Fine with bamboo here. That was nice! Good form on this stuff, like sort of strong, broad uh, um, poses. The butt into the face, I like that. I could have used more of a moment. Just the side angle is kind of killing this for me. It's like a lot of the stuff, especially, I mean, the, the very simple rule is like get perpendicular to the plane of motion on these things. So if you have a lot of like this, ch 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 you know, clocks back and forth get on the angle where you're seeing that movement through the frame the most and so a lot of those specific moves i'm not saying that you should never be sideways on a fight like that but for those moves they would have worked better and kind of over the shoulders against each other yep there's the moves yeah whoa and then a throw oh i saw a pad i think Yeah, some bits of it are just a bit sort of feeling like we're still working it out a little bit. But just a little... Need a little more... <laughs> Who's this in the background? <laughs> hmm. Ah... I didn't notice when the knife came out. Oh, bummer. No. Unless they're a coward, I guess. Cool, some of the hand-to-hand -hand stuff did not work so well for me. Uh, not that it wasn't good. It actually was like a lot of it was was much more sort of uh, informed looking than a lot of the entries tend to be. Um, but I just it's harder to when you're just sort of grappling and it's hands and this and stuff. The energy is is not as as clear visually as when you have swords and you're swinging at each other and stuff. And so it's hard to make that stuff read and play the way that you need it to um like back at the beginning the anakin obi-wan unleashed one you know that little bit against that brick wall is very i mean it was it was sort of kung fu -y, but at the same time that stuff works you know really well um but uh there's some good throws in here in that one and um some other good bits that was definitely uh definitely on the way and film escape. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I may have been occluding my face from you. I know, what a tragedy. Okay. I feel like the music is uh, sabotaging the energy here.
Mm. <laughs> there are a lot of people around here. Yeah, so we're doing a lot of things that are like, you know, we we could we could definitely use more attention on a lot of these things in our in our camera angle choices. Like, you know, we should uh, we should really be in there selling selling this stuff. And a lot of it feels pretty. I mean, the whole thing is kind of feels very much like a like a rehearsal. I think they know that. And the wide ones where we got multiple stuff happening, it's like, it's, uh, you know, those are tough to pull off. You have to make it work twice, so. And she's running away. Crust dissolves elapsed time, guys. <laughs> yeah, I inspect. Make sure. Well, you guys clearly spent a lot of time, um, you know, getting all together and, and working some stuff out and everything. But uh, we didn't we didn't get it to that next level of a. Uh, making it really work uh, dramatically. Uh, angles will do a lot of that, but also, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of thrown elbows and, and hits that aren't connecting and a lot of sort of lack of intention and energy. Boy, if I had two sabers and somebody else had two saber or a double, or two, and uh, it sabers everywhere, which way I would not stick my leg into that situation. <laughs> Look like uh, more was about to happen. Okay, well. I would say start I would say try a little more uh a little less ambition in terms of how many and how much and really try to try to make something a little a little slimmer, a little tighter and and work a little better. You know, put put more energy into all, every selling every move and uh finding the the best angles and all that stuff in a in a more modest scope of fight. For, for that one. Okay, sorry. Let me see. We're doing power. It's a rough cut, guys. Just a rough cut. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying not to talk over into the next one too much. I would surrender if I were you. The power will be mine! You can't stop me! 
Nobody has ever gotten past me. All those who have attempted to seize this power have only gotten themselves destroyed. This is your last chance. Surrender. Looks like he's not Very looking well. at him. Looks like he's looking at his feet. I feel like I hit him this way, but he spun this way. <laughs> Those horns got me. The poor man's force jump. So there's not a lot of hesitation here, which is good, but uh, we're keeping the moves pretty, pretty basic. We're keeping our distance. I feel like you could have done more with, um, like, uh, you know, you throw the saber away and then you've got him at the big disadvantage there. I would have liked to see something something happen there before he just reaches and just grabs the saber back. It's kind of like it was irrelevant at that point. And then also, I'm not, like, I'd like to see a, a little bit of a lead up into why one of them loses, not just, up oh, and then he got him. Like, I mean, I know it's a fight scene and that's like in a real fight, like he just, up. Oh, he got him. Made a mistake. But, you know, this is a more sensationalistic drama fighting for the screen where it's like kind of like you want to you want to have if you can if someone's going to make a mistake, you can show why the mistake happens and have that sell, you know, and that kind of stuff like a little more just a little more of the uh, the drama of the thing, you know, but uh, OK. Splited. Splitted. Split? The veil of the same uh, material as the uh, outfit, the tunic, is um, kind of cool. Shots from the dark. Okay, alright. I'd like to see us move on. I feel we've done what we can do with the twirling and deflecting. More twirling. A lot of twirling. Fancy moves and deflecting. Nope. Missed one.
Cool little location right there. That's the next version of the AirPods. Oh, we're on a we're on a set, or so it would appear. Oh, guys, there's no saber fighting in this one. That's kind of a thing. Um, also, I'm not exactly totally clear on what was uh, supposed to be happening there. Uh, what the I guess, assuming that was the both the two of them in the uh, in the picture. I, I didn't quite track with all that. Sorry, guys. Holocron, an old republic story. Sorry about that. That's a hell of a holocron, man. You don't want to fall on that thing. It would hurt. All right. Yeah, take the time to have your dramatic little moments there in those lockups. Good stuff. The costumes look nice. Photography looks nice. Made some fine choices on angles. That's a hell of a armor costume these guys got. block. Yep. Just a little lightning spritz. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That looked uh, reminiscent of... Um, Obi-Wan versus Darth Maul. Choreography. As it should, for the weaponry. Yeah, we got it cut. Okay, this is tough. Having two sabers, it's always hard to look uh, good. Okay, we're keeping busy. It's nice. Ball in there. I feel like if you got the two sabers, you should have more of an advantage. Is that a punch to his his armored kidney? <laughs> did he get it just in time? Is that what? yeah he did? Okay, all right. I like how it's like when you have to to break the force choke, you boom immediate. When you got to pull that saber, yeah, the saber takes a minute to decide if it's gonna come to you, you know. <laughs> Uh oh. So is that all the same, same dude that we sl split screened a bunch of times? Yeah. Bummer. Yeah, that's tough. That's when you run. That's when you run. 
Cool, nice. That looked good. Uh, very nice. Um, yes, the choreography was uh, was nice. It was very competently executed and uh, was not totally um, simple. I can dig it. Like I was saying, it's hard to keep those those multi blades busy when you got like either one in each hand or the double. But um, that uh, did not have a whole lot of. Um, Moments where you're like, oh, could have got him, oh, could have got him. I'm guilty of that myself. Jeez, man, you're out in a real desert here. Oh, with prosthetics. Yikes. It's tough. Mark. Hey. There he goes. Oh, nice. Nice nice shot. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Very effective. Oh, she's got the Saber Comp logo on the shield. Gotta appreciate that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, man. You gotta fight three people uh, shooting it like this. <laughs> the Saber, uh, Saber POV. That's good stuff. Is he barefoot? I mean, that's how you keep it from looking like somebody's waiting, is you're just, like, scrambling to keep up with it. But you're still seeing what's happening, and you're reading it. And because it's, like, it's actually more important than the, the technicality of seeing the moves themselves. It's like you're understanding the intention and the effect of, of, of what's happening. All right, let's see this shield get used. Cause you just be like shield, 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 and then attacking when you get a moment, you know. Mm. Yeah, nice. Music's uh, good too. Mm hmm. Yeah, sure. I like the uh, the the sparingly used but useful blocking with both of them that is uh, is happening. I mean, that's a cheap way to use two because it's not. It's just using two as one effectively but like that's not 100% like they're they're scrambling it around yeah there you go yeah oh ooh we're rated R blood came out good kills yeah mhm mm nice yeah 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 okay yes yep yeah, come on. Yeah, it's a long one. Nice. <laughs> I would not throw one and get rid of it. Like, I mean, unless you're just going to pull it right back to you. Like, why would you go down to one? I mean, maybe you're just more powerful with one, but...
I can appreciate the, the whole idea is that you have to go through the whole fight to emotionally get to the point of doing something like that. But it's also kind of like, could, could he have just done that at the beginning if he needed to? Uh, that was that was great. Uh, that whole one, uh, a every everything about it, everything the way it was shot, the choreography was real good. Performances were real good. Everything looked nice. Um, the flow of it too, this sort of ramp of intensity was uh, went very well all the way up to the duel with the two guys, which was the tightest and and best part. So I mean, real real good job there with all that. That was definitely one of the one of the best put together ones uh that we've seen here and um uh what else to say i mean i don't know that i have a lot in the way of criticism on that i think uh, it was just very well executed i mean and it works it elevates from a fight scene to a little film you know what i mean so well done everyone Jedi's weapon deserves more respect. Uh, it was like the computer voice, like. <laughs> I feel like that almost is not quite valid use of it because, like, the whole point is to incorporate it into the fight so that you know it was made with that intention. But like, you could have just drop that in. This is over black. Like, this could have been shot years ago for all we know. You know. But anyway. I'm not a judge. I don't make the rules. I don't have to uh, select them. I would love to see something done with the cross guard saber that you just can't do with a normal saber. Like um, they're they're used, and the the additional little outputs at the bottom, you know, whether they block or not, I don't know, depending on how you play it, I guess. Um, Affords opportunities that almost no one ever uses, utilizes, you know. Yeah, and then that one was over. Okay, let's... I gotta go back to that for a second. Oop, I've gone too far. Damn it. Oh, I keep going back to the beginning. I'm sorry, everyone. Jeez. Oh, gosh, what? Did this thing change again? Okay, here we are. I feel like it was over before it began. Um, what did I want to say about this? Yeah, yeah, cross -cut. Okay, sure, great. Yeah, a little of the, this sort of hesitation, a little feeling like we've, you know, we worked this out before, but we're not totally 100% on it. And we could use some variety in the camera angles for sure. That was, felt sort of out of place. I feel like he would <laughs> have seen that hand coming. Yeah, you know. You just step it up. We gotta get, we gotta get up to that next level of, uh, of energy and intensity, and then giving giving each of these little uh, bits of choreography their moment, uh, which often means their own shots, you know. Die, die, DIY. Was the bottom one a wand? What was that?
quite an audience. A lot of people around. Not necessarily watching though. <laughs> They're just kind of like, whatever. What if these props are like... They look like they're like heavy or something. They're, they're a little slow, not, I mean, yeah, we could, we could, we could get a little, uh, a little quicker, a little faster, but, uh, there's something about them. It feels like it's, it takes, it takes a little bit of effort to, uh, get these things around. Oh, looked almost accidental. Yeah, good, good movement. Going, you know, not just standing in one place. It's nice. Spray it on. Nope. Uh-uh. He said no. It's not happening. Need a bigger pot for that, man. There we go. D Bart. D. Nice little handspring. Oh, got him with that one. I mean, the that was a good move to, <laughs> to to lead up to the kill shot. But like a lot of this just sort of unfolds in front of the camera in a way that is not really uh, okay. Stay safe. Yes, this is the first one we've seen out in the world with uh, people masked up and everything. I mean, other other ones had masks, but. And stay home. Oh, we've got a moral and a message here. But um, we could have used we we could have used more angles to actually see what was going on with some of those. Not that we couldn't see what was going on, but it could have it could have really helped sell those things there. And it, there was definitely a bit of it that felt like uh, a bit um, rehearsally. We can tighten it up. We can tighten it up. I swore I. I'm not. I'm not you know, forgiving points for it being a comedy because it's like, you know, we're still trying to uh, sell the action, you know, so. Okay. Escape from Balasar. Never go back. My sister's in trouble. She got mixed up with the wrong stuff. Death stinks. Is, it's all my fault. Looks nice. Ooh, looks good with the dust. Dust around. Lighten up the uh, stuff in the air. Oh! Well, not a lot to say about that one. Look forward to seeing it. But, um, Saber Comp 2020, the last anchor man. Okay, I'm waiting for Will Ferrell. Here. Whoa, distortiony. Also, there's a holocron. For you, Jedi. I'm gonna put you to sleep harder than the attack of the clones did. <laughs> Death starts bearing down on us. I'm gonna waste our time doing this. I'm leaving. If anybody's gonna get out of here, it's gonna be me, the lead anchor of the Rogue Three News team. You guys are gonna have a worse ending than the Last Jedi. Not so fast. It's not a battle without the TIE Fighter News team. I'm gonna ruin you like the turn of the Jedi. <laughs> what? What? 
So we've all got nothing better to do than to sit around and try and kill each other while we wait for the Death Star to come in and blow us up. Right. But as always, remember the one rule. No touching of the hair or face. <laughs> The Death Star is firing very slowly with red this time, I guess. Get new use out of that sound effect. It's a dark purple saber there. Is <laughs> the size of that jacket makes it almost like a cloak. It's like it's hard to see. <laughs> the sound effect is like machine gun. Ah. Whoa, jittery. Gone slow mo. This guy in the tan jacket, I feel like, is a little, a little. Oh, look at that! Fancy moves. Okay. All right. <clears throat> it's going Super Saiyan or something. I guess it's lightning. He lightning him. That is a long staff saber. It's like a lot of ex a lot of pieces from Ultra Sabers or whatever. Well, very thin saber there for a moment. So does the other end work or no? I think it's just shorter now. Yeah. That probably makes it easier to use, I think. Yeah, no, well, there you go. <laughs> I see. Okay. I appreciate comedy in saber uh, saber fights. I do. I do. Um, I think the rest could have been up, uh, could have been uh, elevated in uh, in quality generally. However, but uh, good times. The sand will remember you. Nice planet. However, sorry, guys. I'm looking at this star right here. And I'm going, I'm trying to see, I guess it's just barely, pa it looks like it's inside like where the planet would actually be occluding it almost. Like I hate that in comps of the moon where they have like a crescent moon, but somebody puts stars. It's like, you know how the moon works, right? You know how like light works, right? Like it's still the moon. Anyway, sorry. My note would be remove that star. Okay. That's my note. It's nice photography. Uh, 
I was wondering if she had a nose ring because in the in the previous shot it was too far to be sure, but the light was there and it glistened on her lip, and I was like, I I don't think she's crying and that's a snot reflecting. Like, <laughs> uh oh. Which I assume was her, unless they both have nose rings. Oh, that flare. Mm, that hurts me a little bit, I gotta say. For how nice the rest of this looks. Mm. It's a bad day. Bad day at the beach. Kill the younglings! Got like the little um, the Nabu lower lip stripe. Sparkly. Cool location. It's great rocks. Oh, this. All right, let's do it. Just kind of waiting for her to uh, have her moment. <laughs> Sand in the face. The sliding back foot. Interesting look for lightning. Very narrow. I'm not sure what was supposed to have been happening during the black. The part we didn't see. So this is nicely shot, and I like... I mean, it looks great. And we're seeing the drama, we're seeing the emotion play out in the faces, and we're seeing her get hurt and get up. Like, so we're going through all of the beats of this dramatically. But the fight itself, you know, is uh, is uh, is fairly basic in terms of uh, in terms of the moves. But but doesn't quite have the the power to that would make that kind of simple vocabulary really sell. Oh, gosh, I feel like, oh, man, I want to see more of that. I want to see. I feel like there was an ending there that uh, I didn't quite get. Okay. Well, there's good stuff, though. I mean, keep it keep it up, man. I mean, I'd, I'd like to see more. I feel like there's more. Hopefully, hopefully there's more somewhere. But. All right, Apex. So, handsome shot.
It's like it's whispering to him. We must destroy it. It's kind of like the other one where he's like about destroying the holocron, which I, I, that's cool. I like that. We got a light through the smoke in here. Nice. Nice. Wow, look at him go. Dude, he had to use the, a vehicle for that. I got that smoke machine out there, man. It's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus. There you go. Come on. Mm-hmm. 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 A little frenetic with the camera, but it, it's it's just on the edge. Like you, you can still see it. But man, you don't need the camera to help it have the energy because these guys are really uh, going bananas. There's no hesitation, there's no waiting, you feel that, you feel that, you feel that intention, you feel those attacks. Oh, the f great force push, man. Pulling off these, uh, these force moves. I'm leaning in. Let's do it, because I'm... Oh, oh, we missed our our roto there. Oops. That's all right. Get that for the final. It's amazing what you'll forget when uh, you're actually when you're uh, really into it. You know. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is just above. This is just getting. Yeah. Nice. They know how to pull this stuff off, man. It's it's really good. <laughs> yeah, going on that wound. Yes. But yeah, the the the, the sophistication of the choreography is up is up above the uh, the basic level. And it's they're they're doing it so fast and so competently that you almost you almost miss it, but it's uh, real good. It's great looking too. Shot the hell out of this thing, man, and lit it. You provide your own rain too, Jesus. Don't worry about the effects, guys. It's all good. Mm hmm. I wonder what anomaly has led to the misregistered sabers. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of technically fascinated by that. I'm, I'm trying not. I'm not letting it uh, distract me too much, even though I am bothering to comment on it. I didn't miss what happened there. Yes. Very nice, everyone, all around. Super solid. Great stuff. Great scene. Great little film. Uh, really sold that fight. That looked real, real nice. Um, uh, give it a big thumbs up. Trailer music. 
It looks not unlike uh, Skellig Island or whatever that place is they film at. That's a wide angle lens, man. Everyone went for the holocron, man. Dude. I have a holocron. It tells me what time it is. It lights up too. Sorry, gang. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Alright, let's try again. Video game rules. Edge of Tomorrow style. Hmm. Okay. What did we learn this time? I hope we stop doing the text every time. It's gonna get old. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boy, once if if this really was happening, you would suddenly you would after it happens like three times, you're like, okay, I'm getting some confidence now because you could you could take risks that you might otherwise not take, you know. I don't know what he was trying at there. All right, let's see it. I almost feel like we should see some surprise in the antagonist here at how competent this guy is when he was not expecting it. Whoa! Way to land that. It's pretty clever. You just go, go in on that shot of him doing the flip somewhere else. Not on these freaking rocks. God, what a yikes, man. If you uh, miss your footing on that. <clears throat> I fractured an elbow uh, goofing around on Vasquez rocks, man. Mmm. Uh huh. Now you're effed. Where where'd he go though? What? Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Did he kill him? Okay, okay, okay. Eclipse. On we go. Uh, that was cool. I like the idea of it. It was fun. Um, I guess I would have liked to see something. I would have liked to have seen, I guess, more things about like uh, bits of choreography that that happen and then went one way and then can continue to go another. Like, see a little bit more of the sort of branched kind of, you know, it went this way the first time and then you know a little more in the way of like setup and payoff for the um, the same stuff that uh, the antagonist would try and then how to uh, um, respond to it. So, eclipse. So he's trapped. I'm not totally sure and not completely clear on what's happening. these little fractal things are. OK. 
Okay. Sort of bouncy. <laughs> Mr. Purple Saber attacked him. Oh, well, there you go. Um, for reasons unknown, despite him not being his enemy. But I feel like he would have been more pressuring him on top of him, you know. fast. And see where the saber was to do that, but I mean, obviously, I understand what happened. Well, you're effed anyway. Yeah, there you go. Well, at least you get the satisfaction of knowing that uh, you sliced them up. Uh, that's cool. I think um, you could have used a little more. Um, Let's see, like the footwork of it. There's a lot of kind of, you know, we're doing our moves. This it's a, uh, it's a little basic, but we're kind of just shuffling around in it. In like some of these other ones, you can really see a lot of like, you know, attack and pressing someone back, and then sort of, um, you know, bouncing back out of that and moving around each other. I think I think if we had been a little more kinetic in how we're moving around and not just in the upper body. Uh, smacking those uh, sabers around uh, that uh, could have benefited. Now, where do you get these props? Actually, that's, a, I guess, a new uh, episode uh, nine prop. Looks just like that thing, so. Maybe they make a toy or a replica. I'm sure. I mean, it's certainly based on a holocron. I'm happy to buy it as a holocron prop, you know? Nice acting for the kid.
Hmm. It reminds me of something. Can't put my finger on it. These sabers look very thin, very lasery. Got in there, pal. Ooh. I like the turning with the uh, with the move. Cool shot choice. She's captive, I see. I thought it was like her father, but like protecting her. Like here, stay away. Like let's not leave the room, but you know. Okay, we have increased in speed. <laughs> yeah, good kip up. Kip up used properly, unlike myself in Ryan vs. Thorkman. Yeah, you're two for two with that one. The surprise uh, backhand uh, around the back move. It's his signature. For the one. Yeah. We could have gone in a little tighter on some of those, I think. Um, you know, yes, yeah, shot, shot choices could help and everything. A little, a little far, a little distanced, a little kind of feels safe, you know, in in a lot of places. But um, not certainly not the worst I've seen for um, multiples, you know, two on one or more uh, with a lot of sabers in play. Like it managed to keep pretty busy. Not a whole lot of waiting uh, there, but uh, just overall could have been tightened up. So not not a huge not huge problems there. Just sort of like great keep. Keep going, keep working on it, like, uh, uh, looking good. Okay. All right, well, uh, I should say that that has been long enough. I'm going to take uh, a moment to uh, uh, verify that I have actually looked at these. Yes, yes, yes. Seeing as it scrambled that one in later, that was very weird. Okay. Okay, okay. Cool. Red bar under all these. All right, that's it. And that's uh, 30 of them. Boom. We did it. Okay. All right. Well, you know, you know, a, a, all things considered, a pretty, uh, a pretty respectable crop, as per usual. Um, we definitely had... Uh, I would say three to five standouts for me that uh, I think are obvious when, um, you know, seeing me talk about them. But um, yeah, some real good stuff. So I see no reason to drag this out. Uh, let's just say uh, I hope that uh, if you made a, a, um, one of those fights, that I did not offend you too terribly. Um, but hopefully uh, am offering some useful uh, feedback and criticism there uh, for you guys. Uh, tune in for that live judging on Saturday. Uh, that'll be way cool. That'll be fun. And uh, as usual, nice nice job, everyone. And uh, another good crop. So, okay. I'm out of here. I got to run. Until next time. Uh, yeah. Catch you later.